Hi, my name is Tim Nilsson, and I want to talk to you today about a product that we first announced when we announced the QAVR. When I was in Dubai at the Drone Prix, I witnessed all the pilots frantically running around trying to find different colored LED boards to stuff onto their frames very, very quickly. The heat was coming up and they needed blue LEDs or red LEDs, and of course, not everybody had the configuration that they needed or the LEDs. So the system that we're announcing today really solves all that. So it starts with the LED tail board, which goes onto the back of your airframe. You see it here. And that board does all the power conversion. You can power it with 5 volt up to 26 volts. It also runs all the logic that you need to not only drive the LEDs that are on this board, um, but also additional LED boards that are running elsewhere on your airframe. So along with the controller board, this tail board, we're also announcing a small LED board that goes on the arm. What's nice about this board is that it has cable going in on one side and the digital output that you need to run out of it comes out at the same side. So the wiring is actually quite clean. So it just lays flat on the arm and then the wires come out only on one side. Uh, so that's the LED board for the arms. And then for the QAVR users, we're coming out with a power distribution board. This is a prototype, but this board makes wiring the whole system much easier. So it goes, attaches to the airframe in the center, and it runs all the cabling and all the routing off not only power for the LED boards, but also all the digital signals that you need. So what that then does is that you have the full system that, uh, you know, with one button, all the colors change. So if if you add a race, you can not only change the colors of the LED tailboard, but also all the arms. And if you add a race like an IDRA race that will require you to have LED boards on the side of the airframe, you can actually daisy chain additional boards to this system uh, and all the other LEDs will change along with it. So in, the, in addition to the solid color patterns here, um, we have other pre-programmed patterns like the police pattern that randomizes the police colors across the back LED board as well as all the arms. The inside outside flash that has just a color switch from green to red. A traversing pattern that Again, uses the arms in a clever way, as well as the backboard. And so the disco lights pattern, all the LEDs are randomized through a bunch of colors. This is a line of sight pattern that helps you by showing the front arms as blue and all the back LEDs as red. and the rainbow pattern that slowly fades through all the colors. And another traversing pattern where we're again using the arm LEDs and the back board in a different way. An off setting, so if you don't want to show any LEDs, you can leave it at that. And the board remembers um, what the last pattern was that you were in. The other thing that you could do with this board is you can drive it with clean flight or beta flight, you know, any of the versions of the software that support LEDs. And I can toggle into that mode by holding the button and it's going to flash. And now we're in clean flight mode. And what we did here as an example, we programmed uh, some colors for the front arms and the back arms. Um, and also some inputs that as you're steering or rolling the airframe, you will see certain arm LED boards light up so that it really assists you in showing what you're doing, where you're going, if you're braking, etc. So it's another way for you to actually get creative and program these LEDs using the Clean Flight Editor, which is really cool, and can do that for the back LED board only. If you 
have the ARM LED boards, you can program those all individually. Um, and then even if you keep going with other LEDs that you daisy chain um, after this system, you can do that as well through CleanFlight.